So what are the top tips you would give from a legal perspective? You would give a real estate buyer who's buying a property on the resale market, so from an individual seller. I'll make it very simple for us. First thing to make sure of is that you are dealing with a reputable and professional uh, broker. Yeah, and then uh, second of all, make sure that a lawyer is reviewing <laughs> your agreement and making sure of the terms of, the, uh, of your agreement, the form if and the addendum. This is very important. Third is that make sure that you are financially fit and you are okay to complete your transaction on time and you can make the payment on time. Yeah. And number four is that if you are buying your property by a mortgage, make sure that you have a mortgage clause in your agreement where it says that uh, the transaction will proceed and will be concluded provided that you get the uh, subject to the uh, bank's approval, yes. right? And in this case, if for any reason the bank does not approve it, Still, as a buyer, you have to provide the proof that the evidence or a proof that the, the yes. and then the, the agreement becomes and null and void, does. right? So basically, what we normally advise people in this context is that this has to be. So let's say you have 30, 30 days to complete the sales, trans, the sales and purchase transaction. Then we say that there is within one week or ten days you have to confirm whether you are fit to whether the bank confirms the uh, mortgage or not. Correct. Yeah, so you can't wait until the 30 days no. finishes and then you come no. and, and then you come and claim that you, yeah. have, you got rejected. And also keep in mind, I'm talking from a commercial perspective, that some sellers may not accept this. So I would still recommend that probably you get your pre-approval before getting into um, um, into you know a binding agreement with the seller. Absolutely, you get your pre-approval before even entering into uh, the agreement. When you are sure that the pre-approval is there, there are still chances that your loan might not go through. Yeah. So that's why you need that clause to protect yeah. you. And technically, probably this would take three to four working days if you're working with a, with a good bank or with a good mortgage broker. Absolutely. Thank you very much for watching. Please feel free to leave all your questions in the comment section below and I'll try my best to address all your concerns and questions personally. Feel free to tag a friend who may need to learn more about the real estate market, especially in the legal context. And of course, don't forget to follow any of my uh, social media accounts that are mentioned below. Stay tuned for many more to come. Thank you.